hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is Debisa and i do educational and lifestyle content to all my returning service hello darlings i hope you're doing well today i am doing what it takes to become a project manager get into it so to become a project manager you will need qualifications so which means now some people will already do for example a national diploma in project management however for example I will talk about me I did not do a national diploma in project management I did electrical engineering. However, throughout the years, then I realized I like to organize things. I like to plan. So I branched then to project management. So now, which means now I was able, while I have my national diploma in electrical engineering, I was able to go do a degree in project management. So, for example, your national diploma is NQF6. So your degree will be an NQF7, right? So which means if you have any NQF level 6, it doesn't matter what field is it. It doesn't matter if you have teaching, you have finance, you have civil engineering, you have any background, you are able to branch and go do your degree in project management. As some will call it, a, a, it's a BTEC. So you are able now, because you already have your NQF 6, then you are able to go do your NQF level 7. Now, some people will be like, I already have an NQF 7. So which means you already have a degree in certain qualification, or some people will say you have your BTEC in a certain qualification. So which means now, I know there are some people that will have will do two degrees right so which means you have a degree in electrical engineering and then you like i also want to have degree in electrical in project management so what i always advise people is that if you already have your degree in a certain qualification how about then you go do your post grad because your degree is an nqf level seven so your postgrad now, which means it's a postgraduate diploma, will be an NQF level 8. How about then you go, you progress, man. Don't sit on the same level. Some people will be like, um, okay, now I have a degree, right, in, in teaching. Uh, I had um, a question from one of my subbies saying that she has a teaching already but she would like to do project management so which means she has a degree in teaching that is nqf level seven so then i advise her that she then she doesn't have to apply for a degree in project management she can then rather go to go do a postgraduate diploma already which is an nqf level eight so but some people will be like, um, okay, but I don't have any experience in terms of project management. So if I started on this level so that I have a bit of an understanding of what is project management before I can go do my postgrad, you can also do that because what I realize is that for NQF level 7, that is your degree, your BTEC, the subjects that you will do there are different from the subjects that you will do in your postgrad. So for me, I started my project management on NQF level 7 because I did not have any experience in terms of project management so i started there where now i have to learn everything from scratch so
by the time I do my postgrad, I already have a degree in project management and also I had an experience in terms of being a project coordinator and then I managed then to go do a post-grade diploma in project management. So I was already working on projects actually when I went to study my post-grade. So my understanding was already now having an understanding what is this project management all about. So if you see that you would like to start it maybe from a degree level, you're welcome to do that so that you learn all the tools and techniques. What is this project management? So now, the other question that people normally ask is that um, now that I have studied my project management and I do not have any experience in terms of working in projects, how can I enter now in this project management space? I already have my qualifications, but I'm interested in working in projects. So uh, there's different levels of working in projects, right? We have the project administrator. We have the project scheduler. We have a project coordinator. We will have a junior project manager. We will have a project manager. We will have a senior project manager. We will have a program manager. So mostly companies, they want people that already have an experience or have an idea. What is this? What is project management? How you go about managing projects? So mostly people will start as being, you will have your degree, right? In, 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 in project management or national diploma in project management. You may start as a project administrator. So as a project manage, administrator, which means you will work, work closely with project managers. So now you will be able to understand the processes of managing projects because in meetings you'll be involved in planning you'll be involved so you get to learn like that for me i started project management when i became a projects coordinator so which means i did not go to admin uh, i went to projects coordinator so projects coordinator as well you just coordinate projects you plan for project you you allocate resources you work with schedules so you kind of like get involved in projects but you're not managing projects yet but you learn from the project managers so that's how then you get to learn and grow from them there are people that like will start their experience in as being a project scheduler so as a project scheduler you get information from the project managers for example these are the tasks that i'm going to be doing on this project how much cost will each task uh, be and uh, what is the timelines so you work close with the project managers so that's how then you will get insights in terms of how you manage your projects you will be involved in terms of going through meetings you'll be involved in sites um in, in sites visitations so that's how then you will get to understand oh this is how they do it so now you can also then have an advantage within your working environment to be elevated for example and be a project manager for me for example when i was a project and works coordinator i got seconded like to be a project manager so can you see now within your work environment they can see a potential okay this person we can be able to elevate we can be able to outsource some task or some responsibilities to this person so which means now then you will work under the guidance of one of the project managers that's how you will learn nobody just become a, a project manager overnight you need to learn you need to understand the processes of running projects because for example in projects you, you deal with with budget you deal with cost so 
uh, there's no company that will assign a project to someone that does not have any clue what is going on with projects uh, there's budget involved you can't just give a person a 10 million 1 million project you say okay take it run it they they have to have an understanding how far are you now in terms of being mentored by the project managers that are already have experience and uh, we working under their guidance then that's when then they can have trust in you that okay now we can give this person one of the projects uh for example they will start you with small projects projects that they think that you can be able to manage uh, before now you can get projects that are going like a uh, hundred millions 100 to billions you know uh then they can see okay this person is able to manage projects so you will go through all the processes like in terms of uh the 10 knowledge areas of project management i will be doing that uh, after this video i will have a video where i will explain uh the 10 knowledge areas of project management those is like our bible that one is like our bible where now you will learn everything before you can be trusted and be able to be assigned uh, the projects under you so now you will say okay now that uh, i'm a project manager some people are like i'm a project manager now i know what to do um you know i'm, I'm a pro on this field we have a, a, a program manager so a program manager is a person now that manages the project managers so which means you get to manage projects uh, at a program level so you have for example you have project managers reporting under you so you will manage each and every pm and the projects that they are managing so that is what it takes to become a, a project manager a, a, you just need to have qualifications you also need to have an experience there are those uh, project managers at work, we call them accidental project managers. So those are the people now, maybe they joined the company as a manager or they are advisors, but within their department, there are certain projects that they need to do. So now that person will be like, okay, uh, I don't have a background of project management but um i have leadership skills um i've been to i know how to do contracts so those people then can be given projects but they will be guided because they are accidental project managers it's not something that they were intending to do but now that they are in that department and a need arise then they will be assigned projects but okay, we do have you know processes where they can be uh, uh, assisted in terms of portfolio management there's people that will assist so that your projects um are executed within governance and they are executed properly so that's how you will become a project manager i will say to you guys that if maybe you are in in a field that does not involve any projects but there's a department within your company maybe that does projects and uh, ask to be seconded there or ask to help you know so that you learn and have an experience it's difficult to get a job if you don't have an experience people these days they want ready-made people the one people who are already like spit on the ground already when you arrive there you must be able to run projects that's why then most of the time people will struggle to get um jobs like that they want because the lack of experience you may have the degrees in electrical engineering you may have a post grade in finances but now you want to branch off to project management some they even have the degrees and the post grade in project management but there's no experience so experience is very important so wherever you are try to get involved in projects that other people are doing ask them be curious ask them how can you help learn go to seminars like project management seminars so that you learn and have an insight what is going on here so that one day when you receive a, a project management position at least you are somewhere even in an interview you can be able to answer because you have an understanding 
of what is going on i hope you did get uh, something from this video i hope uh it was informative uh, keep well until next time stay blessed bye bye